Today we're going to be graphing exponential functions. I chose an exponential function f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x plus 4 minus 5. The first thing we want to do is identify the a value, the b value, and the x and y shifts. So our a value is 3, our b value is 2, and we have a plus 4 with our x shift and a minus 5. That plus 4 will be a left 4 because it's opposite. And that minus 5 will be a down 5. Before we even get into creating a parent table for this function, we know one really important part about the graph is its horizontal asymptote. That comes from this down 5. So let's sketch that in. All exponential parent tables follow the same pattern. We have a 0, a, 1, a, b. Our parent function will be f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x. We're going to drop the shifts for now. We do keep the a value in there because it does change the shape of the graph. The next thing to do is just plug in 0 and 1. If I have an x value of 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3. If I plug in 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Now let's shift those coordinates based on our function. We had a left 4, so for all of our x values, we'll be subtracting 4. And we had a down 5, for, so for all of our y values, we'll be subtracting 5. 0 minus 4, negative 4. Three minus five, negative two. One minus four, negative three. Six minus five is one. Now we can plot these points on our grid. We have to remember the shape of exponential graphs. They kind of start out slow and then quickly rise. They're cool when you're studying exponential growth, uh, wealth accumulation over the years, population growth, and they never quite hit zero. Now in our case, they're never going to quite hit negative five because that's the way our graph shifted, which is really neat because if you think about, say, if you took a Tylenol when you were a kid, some of that Tylenol is technically still in your body. So let's connect these points and just think about the shape of our exponential graph. And there it is. On my blog underneath this video is a link to this free cheat sheet that students can color and it also uh, walks them through the steps of how to graph an exponential.